the Tenrai event returns. What's going on, guys? Hope you all are enjoying the Tenrai event. I want to go through, basically just give it up for people that weren't there for the start of it, and show off the new Battle Pass. I was one of those people that didn't know about it uh, when Halo first, um, I wouldn't say came out, but when the first Tenrai event happened. So, wake up, Samurai. The Fracture Tenrai event returns today. It's also... Its return also brings updates to the event past structure, challenges, and rewards. Starting now, players will be able to progress up to 10 tiers per week, making always make progress on at least one um, an event challenge. That doesn't make sense. And earn even more URI customization content for free. Play in the Action Pack Fiesta event playlist and complete event-specific challenges to begin unlocking rewards, including the fabled samurai-themed URI armor core. Separate from the Battle Pass, the event is 100% free and offers players themed and limited time rewards for playing multiplayer matches while the event is live. Unlike other events, though, Fracture Tenrai will return multiple times throughout the season, so you'll have plenty of opportunities to complete all 30. Alright, so let's check it out. Level 0, because I didn't get to play in the first one. So I heard it was like the first 7, or first whatever, was basically all stickers you got one armor core and then xps and challenge swaps um but i heard that it changed so we got like shoulder pads the only thing i wish they did was shoulder pads for this is i wish they bundled shoulder pads into one so that they could give you more like stuff Ooh, those are nice knee pads and we got this armor coating blue red black gray white silver something like that the uh, armor emblem, the Kabuto helmet, which is, I believe, is what they showed off the whole Tenrai event with in the beginning. Some more shoulder pads to match your knee pads. This is, what, gray, blue, and green? Meh. Let's check this weapon. Ooh, that's not bad. That's like copper, copper, gold, and oranges. That's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, you got a blue visor for the whole core. You got hip guards, which you don't see. You don't see a lot of hip guards. Uh, you see like your utility belt and and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. And then you got a jade iron chest plate. So that's kind of cool. You got your sidekick in a blue and gold, which isn't bad. This is my favorite thing right here. I saw pictures of this. I'm, I'm so glad I can check this out and um, in the in the game now because this just is so beautiful. And what I want to know is if like the armor coatings are going to change the helmet color or if it's going to change just like certain parts of the helmet and uh, how the visor will affect it. I don't think the visor is going to do anything to it. And then you get this filter that goes on it to give you more of like a like a Star Warsy theme instead of like a samurai theme, which is so cool. You get a new stance with the rocket launcher. You get another. There's a blue and gold for your battle rifle. I, I would gladly take that. I'm getting kind of getting tired of using the the uh, HCS skin that I got. And then you get some antlers for your stag helm. Which, those are actually really cool for that helmet. I wonder if, like, they come out with a, a, a armor coating that would be different for that. This is my second favorite thing in this whole thing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it just because I didn't play the first part. Is you get this so sick little mini katana on your belt. Which, that is so cool, in my opinion. But, that is the Tenrai event update with your new... URI cores, customization, taking all of the XP boosts and the challenge swaps out. What are you guys looking forward to in the Fracture 10 ride event? What is your favorite thing about it? Uh, you guys go ahead and let me know. And I will see you in the next update.